Good morning. We're in nature. And you know what lies in nature, YouTube mountaineers? Mountains. We're in the Aragon region in northern Spain, in the Pyrenees mountain range today. We left London a couple of days ago, took a flight into Barcelona, drove into Benasque. It's kind of like the Chamonix of Spain. And now we're in the Pyrenees. We got a big day ahead of us today. We're going to do Pico de Posets. About two minutes into driving up on the main road this morning, the road turned really bad for a section and we decided to leave the car behind because I didn't want to break the rental car. And within about, I don't know, 10 minutes, the road absolutely improved. It was perfect tarmac. So then we had to go about an hour and 10 minutes up on foot before the trail and the path actually began. But on a positive note, we can say that we actually started this mountain from the bottom. Today's mission is Pico de Possets. Our route is gonna be Espadas Possets, which is an awesome ridge that crosses over six peaks that are over 3K. We're gonna start off with Diente Royo, Tucon Royo, Espadas, Tuca de la Ardaneta, Tuqueta Roya, and Possets. Ready? Come on. Okay. Refuge. The refuge that serves this mountain is called Angel Orus. You can break this route down and do it over two days. We tried to book the refuge, but since it's over a weekend and it's peak season, we didn't get there in time. So we're gonna have to do this over one day, which is gonna be a long trip ahead. Pretty sure it's doable though. Up there is our ultimate objective for the day. That's Posset's Peak. We're gonna come from the left-hand side all the way up from that ridge, following it all the way to the summit. From the guidebook that I read, it says that Posset gets his name from the word Posset, which means hole or cavity, because of the holes that you find in the bedrock over there. It's not the prettiest mountain, but I like it. Yeah. One of my favorite parts about mountaineering is when you find unique little places like this one where you get all of the snow melting and it forms a little lake and there's no one here. No, actually, you know, there's a set. No, forget that. There's a ton of people here. Mike has got a shower somehow. Coming through all of the, all of that that is coming through now. Ugh, knackered. Now we're talking. We can see the main ridge line now. It looks like the surface of the moon here.
us the call that we need. And we just reached it. That's gonna be our access to the ridge. Absolutely wicked. <laughs> wow. Seven hours later. Seven hours later. This is not gonna make it any easier. Currently the only ones doing this, it's filled with loose rock, but there's no wind. Can't imagine doing this if, the, if there's any sort of wind over about 30 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that is what's called in mountaineering an aret, which is a sharp ass ridge. Oh, good. I think there are going to be a few dangerous sections here and this is going to be one of them. That's it. Stay there and wait up for me. Oh god. Talk about the f***ing wall, hey. Is there a chimney through there? Looks like it. <sighs> oh, 
that earlier part that you saw was not definitely meant for people without climbing equipment. What did you think? I'm stuck in a hole and I'm not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Espadas! Bari 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 And the one after, and the one after. Sorry, you two mountaineers. I'm using you as a hiking pole right now. It's getting to that point. Is it the Rio summit or a fake summit? Rio summit? Woo! Oh, mate. Uh, come, claim the torch. Go. Go. Claim it. Could you go any slower to claim the torch? <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh, amazing. One of the first things that I thought before I ever climbed any mountain that had any sort of significant height was that I'm gonna go on its summit and once I'm gonna be on its summit I'm gonna sit there and relax and enjoy myself for about half an hour to an hour, take pictures and chill. And the reality of it is that once you're there, most of the time, you just want to get the hell out of there as soon as possible. And that's the case for us today, because we massively overshot it. We reached the start of the trailhead. Viv, was it seven or six? six. We started at six on the trailhead, and it's 5.36 p.m. now. We started in the morning, and we're at its summit. So there's a very big chance that we're gonna come back in the dark, and yeah. Is just part of all of that good fun that lies in mountaineering. But this is exactly why we do it. Catch you next time, people. Okay. She had it coming. She had it coming. She only had it. If you had been, if you had seen her, I bet you you would have seen Yeah, I've gone, gone completely delirious. Singing in Chicago, I hate Chicago. Happiness isn't a place on the ridge. You want any of It's not happiness. Not up here. It's delirious. You need to be delirious and miserable. Who am I water? You on water? No, not right now. Look where we are. <laughs> <laughs> not the place to pause. She had a gun. Let me take it. Let me press the stop button. <laughs> I think you're secretly hoping that someone's gonna discover your talent. <laughs>